I feel like I'm ready to do my communion. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to a, another weekly vlog. So today is Friday and it is a curriculum day at my school. It's about five past eight. Um, I live about 10 minutes away from my school so I actually don't have to leave for like another 10 or so minutes. We start at nine o'clock this morning and I have to present to my whole staff. So another teacher and I are learning about a program that we're gonna be implementing at our school over the next couple of years. And so we last Friday um, had did like a whole bunch of learnings. We had to read like a whole bunch of material. And so with all of that material, we had to put into like a presentation and we are presenting today. My partner teacher, she is unwell, so she's not gonna be presenting. So it's just gonna be myself and the principal presenting today. I am not very good like presenting in front of adults. I find it like really intimidating. Like kids, it's fine, whatever. Um, but yeah, with adults, I could, I don't know. I don't wanna make a mistake or come across like I don't know my staff or my material, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I mean, it'll be fine. I've read through the PowerPoint. I know the content. It's just like having the confidence to actually do it, which like I had to present at the very start of the year. And I was like, oh, like you, you start, like, let's just bounce off each other. Like I'm not one to just like have turns talking. Like I like to talk together because then you can bounce off ideas and bounce off energy towards each other. Um, but yeah, so it's a curriculum day, which means that there's no students at the school which like, thank goodness, like I'm pretty tired. You can probably see <laughs> the bags under my eyes. This, this dress is giving, like I'm ready to do my communion. <laughs> it's, it's pretty uh, conservative, but it's a school. So we have to be conservative, but yeah. I'll check in with you guys later and let you know how my presentation went. The time is now 3.45 and I just got home. Actually, I shouldn't say just got home. This is like the earliest that I've gotten home from school. Probably like my entire teaching career. Even when I was CRTing, we'd leave at 3.30. But because I lived 50 minutes away, um, it always took that long to get home. So I'd always be home by like th uh, 4.30. I thought that I would show you. I've been on like a... This is so like social media and clearly I'm being influenced by TikTok and all the influencers on TikTok. But I've been on like a skincare, like you guys know I'm on my foundation journey if you watched my last vlog, but I'm on my foundation and skincare journey. So I've got like really oily or like combi combination skin. So down my T-zone, you could fry an egg on my nose with how oily it gets during the day. And I think a lot of that comes down to not, hello, no, back. So she's just come and said hello. I think that a lot of that comes down to not using the right skincare and from my like research from what I've been looking online a lot of Korean skincare is actually quite like good and it's actually really affordable rather than going to like Mecca or Sephora and buying like a $50 moisturizer a lot of Korean Japanese skincare is like it's got really good ingredients in it and it's a lot more affordable so I thought I would show you what I bought this obviously I haven't tried before so I don't know what it's like I don't know if it will actually match my skin because a lot of the time even though it says that it's for oily to combination skin sometimes it's not so I got a lot of sample sizes so on the website I got it from nudie glow and you can buy like the big 100 mil containers for like 20 bucks. But I thought that I would get like the smaller ones for like $9 and try out a couple of things and see if I like it. I might actually take you upstairs in better lighting because I don't want to pull up the blinds because it's actually quite warm today. And on the weekend, it's gonna be around like 38, 40 degrees. So we'll bring you upstairs onto my beauty desk. Not that it's looking very beautiful at the moment. It's actually super messy. Okay, so we will, this lighting is actually not very flattering, but whatever, it's nice and bright. So I got a whole bunch of things. They give you a lot of samples. I had two and I don't know where the other one was, but they give you samples with every purchase. I got a Vitaberry pore toner which is good I've got massive pores 
I might start off with this one. This is Hydrogel Eye Patch with Rose Water. These are meant to be good for brightening and anti-wrinkle. I've got a couple of, because I'm almost to my mid thirties, I've got some wrinkles happening here. And yeah, these are supposed to be good for brightening under the eyes. You put them on for like 20 minutes or so and it's supposed to like help ah, with wrinkles and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tilt it. it. Smells really nice. They've got like glitter in them. They look really cool. So I got that. And this, I think this was $15. So again, like super affordable for 60. There's 60 buy patches in there, so 30 pairs. I then got this ginseng essential water. This again is just supposed to be like a toner. I think I got two toners, one serum and one eye cream. And it just looks like this. It's like an orangey kind of color. So ginseng is supposed to be very good for your skin. So I got that one in just like a small sample size. I think it was like $9. I then got this rice toner from what I read this um, yeah, from what I read, this is supposed to really help with brightening your skin color, like your skin and also helping with like texture. So if you've got like a couple of bumps and stuff, it's supposed to help with that. So again, I just got like a 30 mil, um, try like a 30 mil sample. <gasps> My battery's flashing. So I'll go really quick. I then got this eye cream, which is supposed to help with um, wrinkles as well under the eyes. So I got this for myself and for Lewis. Again, just in like a smaller sample size. Um, again, this is like all Korean stuff. Ah, it's dying. And then I got this fresh vitamin facial serum. It's supposed to help with balancing and brightening your skin. Also helps with like wrinkles as well. So again, like if you've got a bit of textured skin or dull skin, this is supposed to help with all of that. And I'm pretty sure this was like 20 bucks as well. And then I did get a couple of other things um, previously that I really like, which um, I will show you once my camera has charged. It is still the same day. My camera's just got a little bit of juice now, but I was continuing to show you, I'm in the bathroom, so it might be a bit echoey, so I'm sorry. I was continuing to show you what I, like what Korean skincare that I've been using. And this is the moisturizer that I've been using at nighttime. It's deep sea pure water cream, 60% deep sea water and 2% niacinamide. I don't understand how they get deep sea water, but this has actually been really good for my combination skin. It doesn't actually make me really oily in my T-zone. So that's what I've been using. I've also changed into bummy clothes because it's Friday. I also got this from the same website. It's by the brand Needly. I don't know if you can like see it there, but it's anti-trouble pads. So these are for people with combination skin and with like acne. So if you, I don't suffer from acne or bad pimples at all, but this just helps to exfoliate the skin through a toner pad. And there's one rough side and one, I'm not going to take it out cause like hygiene, but there's one rough side and one smooth side. The rough side, you get rid of all the excess skin and the oil and any leftover dirt. And then the soft side is just to smooth everything out. I have also been using this as a morning cleanser. It's low pH, good morning gel cleanser. Um, it's just got by, but botanicals, botanicals. And because it is low pH, it doesn't strip your skin. So I find with my other cleanser that I have at the moment, it's by the brand simple. I find that when I use it on my face and once it's dry, my skin feels really dry and dehydrated. Whereas with this, because it, it does foam up, but it doesn't strip my skin. Um, I find that my, it feels a lot more flexible, um, using this. So I really like that. And then the last thing that I have been using, there's a couple little toners as well, but I don't know where I've been putting them. I do my skincare all around my house. This is an oil cleanser that I've been using. It's by the brand zero. So clean it zero cleansing balm. So it comes with a little spatula and then you just scoop out the like hardened oil and then with the warmth of your hands you just massage it in and then wipe your makeup off with that and then I just rinse it with a bit of water and then I go in with my cleanser and that I only use this so I only use this 
and this when I have a full face of makeup. So tonight when I have a shower, all I'll use is this, but tomorrow on like Saturday when maybe we go out for dinner and I have like a full face of makeup with foundation, I'll use this and this. I just find that if I was to use this every day, it's just gonna strip my skin way too much. I know that some people do, but it's just not, I don't need it because I don't wear a lot of makeup when I go to school. Oh my god, it looks insane. <gasps> Hello everyone. It has been a couple days since I picked up the camera last. I think when I last saw you, I bought like a whole bunch of skincare and stuff like that. It was the long weekend last week and I was going to film, but it was Lewis's, Lewis and my um, six year anniversary. So I thought might as well, well we need to spend the like the weekend together and celebrating and doing all of the special stuff but like i was gonna film all this weekend i had so many ideas and then yesterday lewis and i decided to go out and socialize to a 40th birthday party and while we were there we were singing happy birthday it was really nice it was gone by the beach in the mornington peninsula in victoria so nice and just as we had finished singing happy birthday i got bloody stung by a wasp right near my eyes so you can probably see right in the corner in here it is incredibly swollen like last night i felt like this half of my face it was in so much pain like i'm not allergic thank goodness like that's so lucky but like this side you can see where like my divot kind of is like you can see the purple bit but here you can see that it's like starting to close over <gasps> But yeah, last night it was, I was in a lot of pain and it wasn't swollen or anything yesterday because I took an antihistamine and then like 20 minutes after it had stung me right like here, it had started to swell, um, but the antihistamine kind of took that away. But then yeah, I woken up this morning and now it's, it's all swollen again. Like I feel like I'm all swollen down here, which like it does obviously on camera, like it probably doesn't even look that bad. You're being like, oh, you're being such a sook. But this morning I woke up and I was like, oh, like my eye feels like it's about to close over. So that's a bit of fun. I am happy it doesn't sting anymore, like that it's not painful. It like radiated, like I've been stung by a bee before on my thumb, but not on my face, like right near my eyeball. And I'm lucky that it was, I guess, lucky that it was me and not one of the kids because I guess I could handle the pain. Um, but today I'm just putting on sunscreen because we're going out to a herb and chili festival out in like the Yarra Valley and we're only going for a sm small slash short amount of time because like I don't want people to be seeing this and I obviously don't want to be around other wasps and stuff but the weather's too nice to stay home and I'm not in any pain. I just feel fat like I just feel like I've been punched in the face and it's all swollen um so yeah we're going to the herb and chili festival Lewis wants to get some like hot sauce and some chili sauce but yeah I'm really annoyed because I was gonna film like all this weekend but now I can't so I'll see what I can get filmed for you guys today it might not be a super long vlog but yeah that's my story of how my bloody face has um become like a little fat bowling ball tomorrow at school I am getting slimed so we're doing a fundraiser for my school for the library and i'm getting slimed by one of my students i don't know how it's going to go but we've never done a color run at my school before so i'm really excited to go get like the chalk thrown at me i'm ready to go get colorful and it's in the afternoon so tomorrow i'm hoping should be a pretty like easy day the kids are going to be absolutely wild i know that they will be because if like the slightest exciting thing happens they just go absolutely mental and nuts for it which i understand but it's just, I think tomorrow will be a lot. But yeah, I'll let you know how the Herb and Chili Festival goes. We might be able to do a little haul to see what Lewis buys this afternoon. Yeah, I'll see you later. Hopefully the swelling goes down soon. I've just taken an antihistamine about an hour ago. So hopefully it starts to go down. Yeah. You sure you don't want to come join? Hey? You sure you don't want to come join? Well, Just come tell tell them about your sources. I don't even know where I got. All right, okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All 
All right, so we just came back from the chili festival. We were only there for like an hour and a half because it was really hot and I didn't put sunscreen on or wear a hat. So I'm sure like the top of my head is very burnt. We did a very good job of buying heaps of chili sauces. So these are all of the ones that we got here. Plus like a few little jerky bits for Lewis. I'll start off with, I might start off with the wine. So even though it was like 10 o'clock in the morning, I still had to do a bit of a wine tasting because it was free. You pay $28 for a ticket, so you gotta get it back somehow. This year was really good because they had a lot of um, like samples that you could have, like a lot of sauces, a lot of cheeses with biscuits and crackers and stuff. And also there was heaps of alcohol tastings too. So there was lots of beer, gin, wine. I just did a tiny beer tasting and a wine tasting as well. We have had wine from this vineyard before. It's called Suma. It's just out in the Yarra Valley. They're really well known for their Pinots and their Chardonnays. Oops, sorry, it's gone out of focus. Really classic Europe, um, like French style type of wines. Really delicious. This bottle was $30, which possibly is a little bit more for a wine but like I said in a couple of videos ago I'd rather spend a little bit more on something that tastes nice than something that just tastes a bit average. Moving on to some jerky. We did eat one packet in the car on the way back because we were a bit hungry. So we got some Riverina jerky. It's a small business made here in Australia so we'd like to support all the small businesses. It's not processed like all the ingredients are pretty like good for you so there's Lean beef, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, natural herbs and spices, and natural smoke extract. So we got like a original flavor. And I'd only ever had jerky today, and it was really yum. I thought that it was going to be something I wouldn't really quite like. This is a habanero. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Habanero. It's got four little chilies down the bottom, so I'm assuming this will probably be a little bit too spicy for me. The one in the car had like two chilies and I still had like, was coughing a little bit because of how spicy it is. Chili garlic oil is sweet and spicy. This was actually really quite spicy, but when you first taste it, it was nice and sweet. It tastes like when you go to like a Chinese restaurant and you have dumplings and they've got the really nice chili oil there. That's what this tastes like. It was $18, so a bit more pricey, but again, like small business, it's vegan. All the ingredients are like just natural ingredients. There's no preservatives or anything in there. So this has garlic, chili, shallots, tomato, sugar, soy, salt, and vegetable oil. And you can just tell by like the oil color, it's really bright red, like a deep, sorry, not bright. It's like a deep red. So you know that that oil is gonna taste good. Lewis then got, so these are pretty much all Lewis's apart from like the wine and this one, I bought these two. He bought some Chipotle sauced smoked jalapeno. So it looks nice. Maybe put it on like some eggs or stir fries. And then he bought two green and gold hot sauce. So it's a seven out of 10 heat. You like this one a lot? So now you gotta come so high. Yeah, well now. <laughs> so you like this one? Uh, yeah, I think those are good for just like every day on like eggs on and crackers and cheese. Maybe not crackers and cheese. Oh. Maybe like eggs yeah. or like steak. Steak. Okay. It's called blonde chili. It's like, of course you like the It's like one. a um, salsa verde. Oh, like okay. Mexican style. Yeah. yeah. Tangy herb flavor bomb. That's a good description. <laughs> yeah. And then you got three from the same company. You bought these from this company last time that we went a few mm. years ago. So there's three of these. Yeah. So there's this one, which is the smoked jalapeno. Three out of 10. So this one's a bit more mild. Yeah. That's like the same as that. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Same color. It's like green. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got this one, habanero roja. Roja. So this is seven out of 10. So these are all Australian made by the way yeah i think this is like one of the first big ones in australia oh i remember this brand you, i remember it's been you bought this like one. 10 years i think yeah i remember you bought this one a couple of years ago this is the chipotle and cayenne cayenne yeah, that one's good this is a four out of ten the yeah. labels are all cool on all of these like small yeah, business got chili real nice artwork yeah like this one's really cool as well but yeah and then we had some jerky some wine oh we did also get some cheese too which yeah, was yeah go get the cheese 
This cheese is a bit more on the expensive side, but again, it's really good. This isn't like an everyday cheese. It's like one that you would sit with like a glass of wine. So it's by Millgrove Dairy in the Yarra Valley. It's an artisan cheese. This is the hot smoked cheddar. You can see in the packaging all of the chili, like down the bottom. That's all like the, I don't know if it's chili oil or it's just like Wasn't that just the smoked pepper? cheddar? Or was there chili in it too? This is, yeah, it's hot smoked cheddar. So that's it there. And then yeah. there's this one, which is the Reaper Gouda. So yeah. the Reaper is the hottest chili in the whole world, right? Yeah, Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper. And this has just got, obviously, not. It's very mild, though. Like, yeah, like there's only obviously little bits and flecks and stuff, but that's the company, too. This is the Gouda. Reaper Gouda. <laughs> yeah. It's a Gouda cheese. It's a Gouda cheese. Yeah, this one was fifteen thirty-five, and this one was fourteen fifteen. So, like, they're yeah. pretty expensive, but... They're worth it. They're worth it. They're really good. All right, we are going to go and have a cocktail now to finish off our Sunday. There's a cocktail bar that's opened up near sort of where we live. So we're going to go check it out. I am going to wear my glasses because my eye is still a little bit swollen. It doesn't look too bad right now, but I can feel that there's a lump there. So anyway, guys, I do hope that you did enjoy today's video. I know it is a little bit more on the shorter side. But I will see you, hopefully, in a video sometime in the very near future. Have a great week, and I will see you soon. Bye.